Hey everyone, Nicholas here from Dead by Dice. In this video, I will show you how the Symbara Monster Codex from Free League looks like. The module here in Foundry Virtual Tabletop. So what I have here is a completely empty uh, game system, the Symbarum game system. And I have uninstalled everything because uh, if you install the Monster Codex together with the core rulebook or the starter set, it will intermix together and you will have a hard time seeing exactly what is belonging to which module. So therefore, we start from clean here. So what you do when you have the module installed inside your Foundry installation uh, in the admin area, you go to the manage modules. And here it will appear with an empty checkbox here, Symbarum Monster Codex. And you will check that and you will say yes to this dependent uh, plugin to install. And then you press save module settings down here. And then Foundry will reload and then you will be presented with this box here which uh, informs you that it wants to install 114 journal entries, 42 item entries, 136 action actor entries, and two roll table entries. So this is uh, what you need to install to get the content into this game world. So you press OK, and it starts the import and says it can take a while. Well, a couple of seconds and import the, the import is complete without issues. Now this uh, window here is an explanation of what is inside the Monster Codex and how you use it. This is fairly simple because this is not the core game. It's just an add-on um, with monsters in it. But it tells you here what is inside. It has the Monster Codex index. Actors, journals, art, items, and tables. That's where um, this module install content. So those you have up here. For example, in the uh, there is not nothing in scenes, but here we have actors. So now we see there is a folder that has appeared here. So if we open it, we have adversaries, hordes of the eternal night, and monsters. And inside those, there are more uh, folders, uh, in the adversaries at least. And then here you have monsters, hordes of the eternal night. All of them does not have um, artwork, but I guess that what has artwork in the physical copy has artwork also here. We check the monsters. Here are the monsters uh, folder, and uh, here is a lot of different kind of monsters. Predators. And these are actors. That means that they all have character sheets. So for example, if we take this Jakar, battle trained Jakar, and open it, we can see here that it has uh, everything uh, filled with stats and uh, and everything. So when you need to use one of these uh, monsters, you just drag this monster to the map, for example, that makes a copy of it, and then you can use it. And you can also roll the dice. Now I have no dice installed in this installation, but you roll these attributes and toughness and corruption and the gear and uh, stuff, everything is in here. So you just roll it by clicking here. I can roll it, but uh, you won't see the 3D dice, the beautiful 3D dice, but in the chat window, you can see here if I failed and the result and uh, what, I, what I rolled from this roll. So that's very handy. And uh, what do we have more here? We have items. In items, we have abilities. We have monstrous traits. That's also um, things that is not exactly 
items, but it can also be stuff that will will be traits as for for these monsters. <clears throat> we have rituals, and uh, we have also more traits down here. Those you usually do not use in. Uh, in in a, in a way you don't roll on them but here is information about those uh, those traits and how they work we have in the next section here we have the symbra monster codex indexes and this is more or less a this is the this uh, first uh, link here is to the first window that we saw that we got when we installed it we have also most monster codec art index and this is the art that is probably as i i think from from the from the monster codec physical book also so all the art that you might need for your adventures but also the monster codex index and here is the information about those for example the death prince you get these um, pages from the book as links. So here is the flavor text and uh, the, uh, the text. We have also Monster Codex Index Section 1, Hordes of the Eternal Night and Monsters and Adversaries. Here we find more backstory and uh, information about each monster. And then we have the Symbarum system guide that is installed when you install the game world. So that was it. And then we have the roll tables. We won't go through them because you don't actually, we can just check them out, but here is what is rolled other other roles uh, that are made inside the the monster codex are are um, using these tables when when they roll to give you an outcome then we have cards we don't have cards music if you want and then we have the entire um compendium here it's the structure, it's like a folder structure of everything that was installed in the installation. So for example, if you have, if you want to check armors, you can check all the armor in the, in this um, module. And abilities, for example. So this is a good overview over everything that is installed together with this with the module if you install this together with a starter set or the the core rulebook this will be intermixed with everything that is installed and activated inside this world that was all for this video about symbarum monster codex from free league i hope you liked the video and if you have any questions please write them in the comments below. Have a nice day. See you next time.